Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment is a fast-paced and agile take on Yacht Club's already brilliant Shovel Knight, taking place before the events featuring our Shovel Ruling Hero. This expansion sees you playing as Spectre Knight, an adversary from the original game, who has been tasked with finding and defeating the bosses from Shovel Knight in a familiar yet different way. Spectre of Torment is a much more focused game, getting into the action quicker than ever before. Doing away with the map featured in the original and previous expansion, Plague of Shadows. You pick a level based on the knight you wish to face, while the short boss encounters found on the original game's overworld return as hidden areas in Spectre Knight's lair. The story, however, is told through flashback that occur after certain levels greatly expanding what we know of this world and the tragic events that kickstart the main game. Spectre Knight as a character is different to Shovel Knight in that he is far more agile with his quick attack and faster movement. His key ability is a lunge attack, allowing him to quickly jump to his enemies across a short distance, changing how the platforming functions. He can also climb specific walls for a short time and use his scythe as a skateboard on certain rails. All of the gameplay changes mean this game is built for Shovel Knight veterans adding an extra layer of difficulty in the traversal of levels by giving it a unique feel compared to the original game. I have very few complaints, if any, to make about how the game plays. It achieves everything it sets out to accomplish. How Spectre Knight controls is especially rewarding, as he grinds, climbs and swings his weapon, adding to the excitement as you learn to master his vicious style. However, sometimes you can easily misjudge where he will lunge and he will fall to his death. It's a fault easily made if timed poorly, making the player feel as though the game was at fault, rather than themselves. Spells return, from a boomerang scythe to a huge charge across the screen. Unlocking these requires finding red skulls, found in every level, much like the musical sheets from Shovel Knight. When you buy a spell, you are taken to a small level on how to use it. It's a better solution, making you more familiar with the spell before using it in the actual level. All previous levels and bosses return, but Spectre Knight's unique traversal dramatically changes the levels in dynamic ways. Polar Knight's stranded ship level has rails to grind, while Propeller Knight's flying machine is very focused on Spectre Knight's ability to lunge for clearing gaps in the level. This makes for a very exciting take on the old levels, without feeling like rehashed content. Much like Shovel Knight, Spectre Knight looks reminiscent of the games that inspired it but plays like a modern side-scroller. The aesthetic is perfect for a game returning to the 8-bit era, while being far more advanced than they could possibly have imagined. The audio is simply fantastic, from the exceptionally catchy 8-bit tunes inspired by games such as Mega Man to the sounds of spells and attacks. Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment is an update to an already masterpiece of a game, placing it in an all-new exciting direction Though it's shorter than the original, yet every minute playing feels just as good, if not better. <laughs>